So here's the start of the project. Unfortunately, I missed the very first day, which was the plumbers putting in the pipes, uh, which is a shame because uh, the pipes had to be moved a few days later because uh, a lot of them were kind of not coming up at the right spot. Uh, so I noticed. So they came back and just modified that to fix it up. Uh, but this is the concreter digging his trenches from the sand or it's like it's almost half clay, half sand. It's quite a sticky sand. Laying all that out, ready for uh, his concrete footings to go in. This is the plumbers coming back to just move some of the pipes. One of the pipes was kind of coming up uh, in a wall where it wasn't supposed to and there wasn't got enough room for the laundry at one end so we just move them slightly to make life a little bit easier. That was the building surveyor just coming to check the depths of the footings. Uh, that was, I believe, the toilet man coming to put the toilets in. And so that's me out there just checking measurements and making sure everything is in the right spot. Uh, and then some R Rio coming in uh, for the so some of it's for the footings, but this part that he's doing at the moment is actually a root barrier. So because of that large eucalyptus tree on the right of the screen there, we had to have a huge uh, root barrier at the front of the house there that went down two meters of uh, solid concrete just to uh, keep the uh, roots from upsetting the foundation. And this is just me double checking measurements to see where the walls are going to go and so forth uh, which does come in useful at a later date uh, when the slab gets poured you'll, you'll notice that uh, where the bathroom goes is not quite where it's supposed to go uh, so that is, this is the electrician coming to fix the electrical cable that goes out to the garage which the plumbers kindly cut a hole through <laughs> so that was day one of his his job was just to patch up that cable that went out to the garage and this is the termite barrier guy putting up his blue termite something or other around the pipes and the concrete is back to put up some of their barriers for the official concrete pour Friendly concrete as they were, reasonably happy, except for the, the bathroom, which you'll see in a later video, uh, which wasn't this fella's fault. <laughs> Someone else in the morning decided to, well, they just didn't read the plans quite right. But he's putting down the black plastic. Now, there is supposed to be slab insulation underneath this plastic, uh, and he's just dug out uh, on the bottom left corner. He's dug out where the in situ bathroom will go. Unfortunately, the slab insulation isn't written on the engineering drawings, which is what the concreter looks at. So he missed the slab insulation, which I notice when I get home uh, and watch this time lapse video that nothing went in. So I mentioned it to the builder, and he came out and kind of slid it underneath the rear uh, the day before the pour. So around to try and get some some foam insulation and managed to to find some at short notice and slid it underneath the reinforcement bars just in time and that's the surveyor coming out again just to double check the rio is in the right place and the depths are still correct and so on and so forth so check the measurements Ah, sorry, the builders, the builders coming in to slot in the insulation underneath. I think normally it goes underneath the plastic, but in this case it is not underneath the plastic, and hopefully it doesn't matter, because <laughs> if it does, it's too late. The concrete is on top of it. So that is the insulation. Look of the 
root area being being poured, which I had a, a bit more footage of. So this is a bit of a, a close up of the first concrete pour, which not the main slab pour. This is just the root barrier. So concrete trucks have arrived. They put some uh, reinforcement mesh down the trench. Yeah, it's about, I think it's supposed to be two meters, so it's a bit hard to tell the distance or the depth from uh, above it like that on camera. But here's the concrete truck arriving for the first pour. Always a bit exciting and a little bit nervous having concrete being poured on a job like this. But that's what these guys are paid for, they know what they're doing. One hopes. He's pouring in there on the reinforcement mesh with his foot. That's all you need. side where it joins on to the existing house there and then you just clean it out while the next truck comes in so I believe there was yeah just two two trucks for this pour so as the concrete uh, as he needs to move the the arm the slide or whatever they call it he just gets the truck to, to inch forward way he will swing it around and then he gets the truck to come back must be nervous as a truck being that far back uh, near a big trench when you're such a heavy vehicle uh, but that is the root barrier being poured <laughs> 